Well, I'm in the sunny Okanagan for the launch of this car, the 2018 Mazda 6. As we know, mid-size car sales are falling and SUV sales are rising, so Mazda is throwing a lot at this to get people excited about their car again. And most of it's under the hood, with the introduction of a new 2.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, the same one that's found in the CX-9. Now, you'd be forgiven on the outside for not noticing much of a difference, but they have changed the front and rear of this car. It's got a bigger front grille with mesh on the inside, LED adaptive headlamps are standard and they claim that they give a better field of view and because of that they were able to get rid of the fog lamps in the front spoiler and give it a more upscale look. There's touches of chrome that have been added as well. Around the back the bumper is wider and a little bit lower with bigger exhaust tips to make the car look more planted. Wheel sizes. Standard wheel now is 17 inches up to 19 inches. The biggest change also is the introduction of a top trim called Signature. They've done that for a few reasons. So let's get inside this signature turbocharged Mazda 6. We'll tell you about the engine and why they think it competes with some premium cars. All right, beautiful spring day here in the Okanagan. We're gonna talk about the Mazda 6 Turbo. Yes, it's the same engine that's used in the CX-9, that large three-row SUV, so it's more than capable for this car. 227 horsepower, 250 horsepower if you put premium gas in, but 310 pound-feet of torque. Now, you would think that this car would snap your head back. Now, it does have a lot of power, but it's a lot of sort of low and mid-range grunt and that's really the best for getting you from traffic light to traffic light in the city. It's very satisfying and it comes on like a wave, a surge. And how they're able to do that is at very low RPM, they constrict the exhaust gases to get that turbine up and running as quickly as possible. And then at 1600 RPM, they open it up fully to give you a surge of torque. At 2000 RPM, this car already has 300 pound feet of torque. So it's very satisfying at low RPM. So it's a great engine it's been fantastic in the CX-9 it just makes this car much more potent in light of the fact that there's so many other new cars in this class they have also gotten rid of the manual transmission which was only available on the base engine before not available which is sad for those people who love manuals the Accord is the one that still offers that it's a six-speed automatic transmission and you can put it in manual mode with paddle shifters to get the most out of this engine. So that is good. Now the steering has been changed as well. They have mounted the steering rack directly to the subframe and they've also changed the suspension quite a bit with liquid filled dampeners and they've also made the suspension just a little bit softer. But I got to tell you the difference with the steering it feels heavier. Actually the way the car feels on the road is really quite substantive. They also reduce the noise that comes into the cabin and they actually claim they've achieved the same sound on the inside or the decibel level as an Audi A4, which is a pretty good company. They've also achieved a trick with the base engine, the two and a half liter non-turbocharged engine has 187 horsepower, 186 pound-feet of torque. This engine, believe it or not, can switch off half of the cylinders. At low throttle input, steady speeds, you can switch off half of the cylinders. That's amazing, driving along in a car of this size with just two cylinders. And as soon as you need the power again, this actuator lifts off and then the intake valves start to work again and you have full power. This car is nicely equipped. As I mentioned, it's got the standard LED headlamps on the outside, standard heated seats and standard heated rear seats. The screen in the center of the dash has gone from a seven inch to an eight inch of standard equipment, and that's right through the entire range of Mazda 6. There is an available seven inch LCD screen in the center of the instrument cluster, but it's only on this top premium trim. Mazda is committed to adding Android Auto and Apple CarPlay to all of its products within the year. This Mazda 6 does not have it currently, but it should arrive by about this time next year year. Plus, it's going to be reverse compatible. Now, let's talk about this premium trim for a moment. Mazda really does believe that they can attract people who are maybe shopping at a premium brand like Acura and Infiniti. And when you look at the interior refinement that Mazda puts in most of their cars, especially this top model, it really is first rate. You've got nice looking faux suede or Alcantara on the dashboard. They've got wood, beautiful satin, aluminum accents on the inside, piano black finish. Nice leather wrapped steering wheel that's heated on this signature trim and a cabin that is driver focused. So they've always had that at Mazda and you wouldn't know it to look at the inside of this car, but actually the interior has been totally redone. The signature also gets this rich chestnut color or a pure white. Standard safety on the base model, you get a forward collision warning with automatic braking under 35 kilometers an hour. 
and you also get blind spot warning and cross traffic alert. That's standard on every Mazda 6. You just have to go up one trim level to the GSL and Mazda has brought in the full suite of advanced safety features like the four-way collision warning with autonomous braking but at to much higher speeds. So that's good. So is this enough to dethrone the Camry and the Accord? No. They are so far ahead in terms of sales and they've earned it over decades of producing great cars. But Mazda has a good product here. When you add in the interior refinement that they have and now this new more powerful engine. It's a compelling package for people that are shopping for a mid-sized car. Now I've said many times the Mazda 6 is the best car that nobody buys but they're throwing a lot at this and also adjusting the pricing. It now starts at $27,000. You don't have to get the top model in order to get the turbocharged engine. It's in the middle mainline trim, the GSL, at $33,600 for the turbo engine. And of course, they've added this new opulent model called Signature, which they prove with the CX-9 a lot of people are interested in. And Mazda is hoping that people who are considering Acura and Infiniti will also have a look at this product. They made a point of pointing out that they charge a $2,000 premium for the turbocharged engine, but not on the GT. The GT, it comes standard, and it's only $500 more than last year's model. You get some nice stuff. LED adaptive headlamps. You get heated front and rear seats, available heated steering wheel, and a nice looking car as well. Is this enough to get people to not look at the Accord and the Camry? Time will tell.